Hi, and thanks for joining us this afternoon. I, I wanted to show you this uh, enhanced satellite image. This is showing you the temperature of the clouds. It's an infrared image. So the bright clouds are colder clouds, meaning they're higher clouds. What you're seeing here is as this storm is moving through, these clouds are being thrust higher and higher. For those of you who had the thunderstorms overnight, that was a part of this deal. And for those of you who are experiencing blizzard conditions right now in the West, that's what's going on with you. So this storm is massive. It is nowhere near done moving through and its effects are many. In the West, as I said, blizzard conditions. In the East, we have flooding in too numerous places to mention. I mean, it's, it's literally crazy. The eastern third of the state, if you can think of a brook or stream or creek that you've ever seen overflow, it's probably overflowing again today. Uh, we're looking in the west for six inches to a foot of snow in the panhandle with a few spots getting as much as, uh, well, over a foot. And then there's the rain we've gotten today. Now, this is a virtual rain gauge. It shows how much the radar estimates we've seen. These areas that are looking with the little orange in them, that's approaching two to a little bit over two inches of rain so far. Plus, on top of that, there's all the snow melt that's been going on today. So that's like rain already on the ground. So all of these river gauges are now showing flood stage. Of course, as you know, if you've been out, there's more flooding than just what we're showing here. But these are the ones that are gauged. And in uh, North Loop and in Scribner, there we're looking at rivers or, or actually creeks in both cases that are at major flood stage. So later tonight, the low pressure system driving this whole thing will move through eastern Nebraska. It will drag the snow with it through the day tomorrow. The wind with it is also going to be dragged across the state during the day tomorrow. All the wind in the west will shift to the east and it is going to be very windy. We have already had wind certainly strong enough to do damage with gusts to around the 60 mile an hour mark. This is not a storm to be trifled with. If you're sitting right now saying, you know, maybe I can go out tonight. No, I don't think you should. <laughs> that's, that's just my opinion. Uh, here's a look at the uh, next week. Once we get rid of this system tomorrow, uh, we will be more spring-like, but in those areas that are seeing flooding tonight, it may take a little while longer to get things back to normal.